So my background is in information visualization, and so Brian and I were talking about how we could use visualization techniques to help people understand the shape of a conversation, to understand who had contributed, uh, when they contributed, what were the dynamics. So what we've done, we've built a prototype, what we call Uatu, which is the watcher, comes out of Marvel Comics, Fantastic Four. Um, and the Uatu system routinely, every uh, 10 minutes or so, pulls down revisions from Google Docs and throws them into a database and then uh, keeps track of who made changes, what's the size of the document, uh, when was it edited. And we use that information to generate a, a real-time visualization of the status of the document and the history of the document. How can students learn better? Uh, how can we explore issues of epistemology? How can we use writing to help students in STEM disciplines um, better learn and retain the content that they're studying. And the idea is that that uh, visualization will help people working in that Google Doc get a quick snapshot of collaborative group activity on a given, given uh, project. Through, through interviews, through observations, figure out what it is that they conceive of as collaboration. Um, our initial results are very interesting. It's, it's interesting to see how students even consider writing as an activity. You have students uh, that we've interviewed who say, I don't, I don't do very much writing. I work with math, I work with programming. When we probe that a little bit more, we find out that they do a ton of writing in their code. Because it's not just coding. Everybody seems to think that it's just coding. And it's not. It's, it's collaborating with teammates, it's, it's, it's thinking about the problem and how to solve it. These kinds of writing are invisibilized. They don't, they don't consider it writing. They think that you can't get an experience like that just in a normal classroom. Half the time we ask him that question, <laughs> I don't know. So it takes away that safety net uh, that I think a lot of students are used to where they can just go to the professor and say, how do you do this? The experimental class we're using happens to be a computer science course where much of the learning is shown through writing artifacts such as programming, but not always programming. But even there, the students don't always conceive of that as a writing activity, um, despite the fact that it is a writing activity. So to see how students consider it is interesting. We're studying that now so that uh, we can actually gather some data to determine if it does help them retain content in, in their discipline better and think about their writing as they're doing it more.